Hey, 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 good morning. Sharon Horn Elves from here, Pajama Grandma. But as the heading says, Pajama Grandma might have to die. I am having a dilemma right now in my personality, in my life, and in my business. And I met with my coach as part of what I'm doing to um, lead a group of people through the Expert Secrets book by Russell Brunson, this little baby. Uh, I'm coaching and we're doing a mastermind group. And of course, that means I'm revamping and looking at the things I'm doing because it would be kind of hypocritical. And I, and I teach individuals how to do this all the time, but I haven't taught a group how to do it before. So I'm going through it with a group. And I'm going back step by step and analyzing something that I was doing for my personal business. Not my business's businesses, but for my personal business. And that's the whole pajama grandma persona and attractive character thing. And... <sighs> I guess I am the pajama grandma, so I'm really having a dilemma with this because as I talked through with a coach yesterday and a partner, um, what I was going for with pajama grandma and my, my thought process behind it and the target audience I was going for, <laughs> it doesn't really make sense because although I am the pajama grandma and I do spend a lot of time working and doing things in my pajamas, if I'm working with people that have chronic pain, I was going after a really hard market, a market that probably isn't ready or doesn't want to hear my message because they may be too far gone. And I, I hate to admit that, but I think sometimes people get to the point where of no return and not because it's not possible for them to change and to change their life, but they get to the point where they don't believe it's possible. It's kind of like an addiction when somebody becomes, there's a point at which an addict, anybody could come back, but I think that there's a point at which when somebody gets to that point, they're going to go one way or the other. And at, at some point there is no coming back from that. They're, they're too far gone. And the probability of them coming back from that is, is so hot. It, it, it's so hard a mountain to climb that the chance of failure is, is almost guaranteed. I don't usually look at things from that perspective. So <laughs> that's why I'm a little devastated over the pajama grandma might have to die thing. But we were talking about it and I was going for people like me because in the attractive character, I think it's easy to, or I think we think that we're going to be attractive to people that are like us. But my coach reminded me that yeah, I'm going for people that are like me, but they're not really like me. And I, I, that's hard for me to understand, you know, because we all think that everybody is just like us. We all think that other people think just like us. No matter how we think or what kind of person we are, we see that in everyone else around us. So I'm trying to find a way, and maybe you can help me with this, to not kill Pajama Grandma, but maybe she just becomes, or that character is just a part of, who I am and the things that I do. It's not a central focus. Now, I'm not sure why I'm so sad about having to make changes in Pajama Grandma because I knew I was going to have to. <laughs> and I only thought of the idea like two months ago. So, But I took massive action on it as I think why well, I'm having a little anxiety separating from the, the persona and the character because I've made... And, and it's all a learning experience, so there's nothing lost by all the things I've gained but I've made, you know, hundreds and hundreds of videos as Pajama Grandma. I've started an entire podcast as Pajama Grandma. And I've got, you know, probably 200 or so or 300 videos on that. Maybe not 300 yet. Not, not videos. They would be audios on a podcast. So I just have created this mass of content around me as the Pajama Grandma. And so I need to figure out, how do I transition to the character I need to be to really talk to the audience that I'm going after as I go through the Expert Secrets book with these, this group of people and <clears throat> for myself because I honestly think I can help more people if I go after and start with the target audience that we discussed yesterday, the younger crowd versus the crowd like me because the younger crowd is where I started in my journey and I think part of why I was going after where I am now is because, and the people that are like me now, is because I can document that part of the journey. So it makes content creation really easy because I just share what I'm living and how I'm living now. To go for a younger crowd, I'm going to partner with someone who's younger, 
who's also got chronic pain, and I'll document her journey, and that that's how I'll work with that. And then this is where I was too, because I was in a similar situation to her. Actually, I was way worse than she is. But we'll document her journey and then where my life has gone, what I've been through, and how my life is now. And Pajama Grandma, I don't know how she fits into that. I've got to work on that. I've got to come up with some thoughts on it. And I originally was attracted to the Pajama Grandma idea as I was moving from my offline businesses to my online business. And I, I like working in my pajamas. I love the fact that I can be in my pajamas or my robe and I can be doing my coaching calls. I can be creating sales processes and funnels and doing consulting on my computer in my pajamas. If I want to leave the house, I do. If I don't want to, I don't have to. So on a cold winter day when we've gotten a foot of snow, I can either step, well, I can step on the front porch and get some fresh air, but I don't have to drive out and go anywhere. So it's obviously a, a big thought day and a big thinking day for me to wrap my head around what direction I'm going to go with this. So for a while, you're going to continue to see the pajama grandma because I'm not ready to let go of that. And I'm not sure what direction I'm going to go, <coughs> but there will be changes down the road. I can, I can guarantee that. I'm sure if I would have talked to the brand doctor or some, somebody with some brand wisdom sooner, I wouldn't have gone so far down this rabbit hole. But it doesn't mean I'm done with the rabbit hole because the pajama grandma is who I am. It really is who I am. So maybe I just have to rethink and get a different perspective on how I work that into the things that I'm doing so that it's actually appealing to the people I want to work with. So it's actually appealing to people that have chronic pain. So it's actually appealing to small business owners, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I better stop rambling today and get to thinking about this so I can make some steps forward on it. Go out, make it a fantastic day. If you've got any ideas on how I kill Pajama Grandma or if I need to kill Pajama Grandma, I could sure use those. Go ahead, comment or direct message me, and I will see you again tomorrow with what I'm up to now in my new adventure. Bye.